Today we're opening what many people call the worst Pokemon booster box in the XY era. I'm not sure about that, but let's take a look. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are opening Steam Siege. Now many people have said this is the worst box of the XY era. I remember when I first got back into the hobby around 2016, this was known as the worst set. Everyone joked about it, everyone made fun at it, but now I'm pretty sure it's worth a decent amount of money. I just checked and there are listings for like £300, so around $400 roughly. I'm pretty sure the majority of that value is the like sealed value these days. To have it in your collection, to keep it sealed. Most people probably don't open Steam Siege, but there are some sick cards in here. God of War, Volcanion. Let's see if we can pull some of the hits. I actually can't even remember what I paid for this booster box. I picked it up recently. I think it was roughly $400. I got it in like a deal with two boxes. It still looks great though. Look at that. Oh, let's pop it open. Oh, baby, it looks so good like that. I wish I could leave it like that, but no, we're opening it. Also, guys, recently I've been doing a lot of box breaks of these kind of sets on my whatnots. So make sure you click the link in the description. You get £10 free credit. And you could come join one of the... So hold on, it's three from the back in XY era. You can come join one of the box breaks. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got God of War Spirit Link. Let's hope we pull a God of War or a Mega God of War. We've got Do you know what? I'm going to really... Oh, sorry, I banged my, my uh, light there. If I ever make a cut in the video of me opening the packs, it's not going to be faked, obviously. But it's just that I'm being an idiot and like stuttering my words or something. But usually if we pull something big, the editor tries to not uh, obviously like make any cuts. We've got a Mario. We've got a Reverse Solo Oshawa. First pack look. Do we have any? No, we got an Amoongus. There we go. That Oshawa is really cool, though. But yeah, back doing box breaks, guys. Come check me out. Hopefully, you enjoy them. People have been enjoying them so far, I will say. All right, we've got a Holucha in this pack. Do you want again? Steelix Spirit Link, Joltik, Tangela, Ponyard, Oshawa, Nidoran. It's a really cool artwork. Really cool. We have a break. High Dragon Break. Now, when I used to, again, when I first got back into the TCG 2016, I used to hate these cards. But now, as I'm opening more and more, we've got a Talonflame. I love that Pokemon. I'm starting to enjoy these. Wait, I need sleeves. What a rookie error. I will bring back the YouTube box breaks as well, guys. The ones we used to do back in the day, the live streams. Uh, obviously, I just need to build things back up a little bit. Because back in the day with the base one, we did like 40,000 live concurrent viewers. And uh, I miss those days. So <laughs> I need to humble myself a little bit and get them going again. But I'm sure we'll do them soon. Just going to move the mic. Apom, that's a really beautiful card. Love the artwork on that. I think we definitely sleep on a lot of these common and uncommon artworks throughout the, uh, the years. That's definitely Sui on the illustration. You can just tell. There you go. S-U-I. Sneeze of Washington, my guy. Reverse Hollow Shielding and a Chandelure Holofoil. Kamir artwork. Yep, on the illustration. I realized I didn't even sleeve the High Dragon. That's the whole point of getting up and getting the sleeves. There we go. Beautiful. I'll pop the hits in the back. Wearing my golf shirt today, guys, because I was playing golf today for the Big Wedge YouTube channel. If you don't know, I've got a golf channel with a few of the boys as well. Uh, okay, next pack, we got Zwilus, Driftblim, Tangela, Corneard, Oshawott, Nidoran again. Love that art. Fungus, Reverse Holo, Wyveltal. That's a really cool card. And the final card is a Primate Non-Holo. Wyveltal's a super sick Pokemon, man. Very underrated and very slept on. I need to pick up some of its e EX cards. Obviously, the XY era, guys, is really hard to get good condition cards with these even fresh out the packs. I don't know. I think this set's a little bit underrated. God of War is a great Pokemon. I think God of War, like, God of War's a weird Pokemon. It's, like, underrated, but not at the same time. It's got its niche following, but then it's not really as big as I would expect it to be. We've got Sneasel. Washington, my guy. Oshawott. Oshawott's been showing up a lot today. Also, this happens a lot with my camera, guys. I'm very sorry for it. Proving to you, though, that it's not, uh, we're not editing this stuff, you know, if we get a good card. It's just my phone being silly. Five hours later. All right, as we continue, Lovesta, Meowth. Ooh, Govantula. I love these, like, dual-type cards. Electric and Grass. And then we have a Cobalion Non-Holo. Nice, I like that. Reverse. I'm enjoying being back on the channel, man. And I'm enjoying just ripping packs, you know? Like, trying to bring you guys more videos of, like, vendor POVs and, like, buyer POVs and just out there going to shops and stuff. But also, just ripping packs just is so much fun. That's, that was, was the pedigree of the channel, after all. We've got a Joltik, Clink, Tangela, Krogunk, Shellos, Reverse Lord Tangela, and a... Cabalion again for the second pack in a row. I also forget how many packs I end up with, like, in my room from doing this. We've got Zvilus, Nidorino, Special Charge, Mariel, Litleo, Rufflet, Fungus, Porniard, Reverse Holo Yamega, that's a Reverse Rare again, and a Bishop Hollow. that's what I'm talking about, a dual type in again. I, so again, I remember, um... Opening a lot of this set, I opened a lot of Ancient Origins. It's one of my first... I think this was the first set that I got back into Pokemon. Is it this set or is it Ancient Origins that has the Suicune like in the in the like, sunset? I remember I graded that card and I also graded a card from 
this set as well. A God of War regular holo for my brother. I gave it to him as a gift. It got a 10. Hopefully, uh, we get one here. I'd love to reminisce on that. Lampen, Captivating Pokepuff, Meowth, Ponyta, Rufflet, Larvesta, Joltik, Ooh, Reversal of Meryl, and a Samurai. It's funny how sets can be really bad at the time, and then as you go further on in life, they, they become better and more desirable. But again, I'm wondering that. Look at these backs, though. Look at those corners. I'm wondering, is that just time? Like, I think all sets over time will accumulate just because they're not in print anymore, and you can pull favorite cards of them. Like, for example, that Shim Chart is really cool. Like, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't notice that artwork all these years later if, without opening boxes like this. If you've got any more requests of what you want me to open, let me know in the comments. I'm always going to shows now. I'm always going to different places to buy stuff. Uh, so if you do want to see me open stuff, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get it. We've got Ponyta. Ooh, Azumarill. I think I graded one of these as well. Reverse. And, oh my gosh, we've got our first full art. We have a Mega God of War EX. Let's go. That is this. Oh, it's not the secret. It's just a full art. But I think if you want to pull any card out of the set, it definitely is a Mega God of War rather than the... Volcanians and the Steelixes. Oh, that is clean as well. That is clean. Oh, the corner's got some like dotting on it. And the edges are a little bit like, the edges are fine from that angle. But when you go to that angle, I'm not, I'm not sure how much that, you know, affects the grade. But look at that in the corner there, those dot, dot, dots. Will the camera focus that close? Look at that. Look at that. But, but clean elsewhere, really clean. So that's got a chance. We'll send that off for sure. Mega God of War EX. Let's go, baby. Look at that. Look at that. That's a great pull. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Even the Azumarill. I like the Azumarill Reverse Holo as well. Okay, it's like a, it's like a 20 pound card. One listed in a 10 for 85 pounds. Yes, yeah, so around 85 and a 10. I think I'm not sure if I did the card trick on this pack or not. We'll open it fast anyway. I, I was opening it and the camera froze. We didn't do the card trick. Fletchling and Volcanion. Yeah, I was uh, yeah, just looking now. 85 pound and a 10. So even like, obviously the box probably costs way more than that, that hit so far. Whether we make our money back today or not, I don't actually know. I'm going to open a few quick like this as well because we've got 36 to get through. Uh, Clink Clang Hollow. That's nice. I don't think we'll make the money back, but this video is more of an experiment. You know, the worst box in XY. By the way, there is Celestial Storm as well, which when I was opening, that also was known as one of the worst sets, you know? And um, yeah, it's, it's fun, fun to think like what the worst sets are in the current era. Um, I know that like in my time of Sword and Shield, people look back and talk about like Darkness of Blades and Vivid Voltage, but they, they, they're nowhere near the worst ones. Rebel Clash maybe, but again, I collected a lot then, so I like those sets. We've got a seed up. Talon Flame. So yeah, I think some people are very harsh on these old ones, but that's if if there's a best set, there has to be a worst set, right? Like you can always talk about the best and the worst, but it doesn't necessarily mean, mean they're bad. It's just the worst of the bunch. Oh, we got another break card. I realize when I'm doing grading returns and stuff, these these like camera pauses are annoying but fine. When I'm doing pack openings, they're not fine, you know? They're not fine. We got a Yamega break while the camera was deciding to pause. Uh, and then we got an Armaldo. I'm telling you, when I'm not at this flat, when I'm doing like content on whatnot, I'm streaming there or I'm doing anything at my house up north. Like this doesn't happen. And I use the same setup, you know, it's only when I do things at my flat, my apartment just seems to be got some weird juju on it. We've got a Hooper holo, uh, rare reverse, sorry. That's quite sick. Let's see what we got in here. I'm sure, I'm certain we're gonna get some more hits, man. Talon Flame reverse. We're getting a lot of rare reverses. I love rare reverses. I think, I think like they're so cool in the future, especially if you can grade high on them. Like not many people grade them and it's just like, Still really nice artwork, but people underrate them, you know? Uh, let's see what we got in this next one. Litwick Clauncher. Oh my goodness me. God of War. We are doing bits right now. The centering is not great on this one. We got a thin side there and a thick side over here. As you guys can see, that's what we call centering when you uh, look to grade cards. Not everything's about grading now, of course, guys. The back is actually, again, you got this weird like print mark. Look at this. That's not even like damage. It's just print marks, you know? And look at that. Yeah, this is probably one of the also the reasons why XY was such a slept on era or like disregarded era because the card quality was just so bad. Let's get it into a sleeve regardless. And again, it's good to pull two God of War. So two full arts so far. By the way, sequential numbers as well. This is number 111 and this is number 112. So that's really cool to see. Um, so we pulled both of those. I'm glad of that again. I was picking a few of those up in CollectorCon. Definitely not too high price, but in that condition, well, it's packed fresh. Let's check on my phone here the price. It's pack fresh, but again, like pack fresh in this area doesn't really mean much. Five pound raw, 10 pound raw. Yeah, not great. 75 and a 10 though. 75 and a 10, again. That's probably because these cards are so hard to hit 10s on. I'll probably grade those two cards though. Ace grading, code Randy, 5% off. <laughs> Shameless plug. I'm not sure why I'm rushing through these. Let's go back to actually like, opening them properly. Um, but yeah, Code Randy Ace grading 5% off. They won't, well, we'll see what they get. Probably won't get 10s. Well, that, oh, that God of War EX won't. The Mega one might have a chance, but that top 
right corner issue, the print marks, it's probably not ideal. Um, but obviously, if the rest of the card is like 10, then maybe you can, you know, still get 10 with that corner stuff, but I doubt it. We'll send it regardless. I'll do a grade and return video on YouTube or Instagram. Make sure you follow my Instagram as well, guys. Randolph Collects. If you didn't know, I got banned twice on Instagram for some reason. Um, that was before the whole Pokemon name issue that happened on there, if you guys remember that, where Pokemon were seemingly taking down accounts with the word Pokey in their name. It turned out not to be true. It was just a clerical error, but mine got banned outside of that. I think they thought I was maybe personating like, my main page. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, we've got a Ponyta, Reverse Foil Rufflet, and a... Ooh. Ooh. This is like stuck together. It's a Volcanion. Yeah, Volcanion EX. You can tell with the double typing. I think this card is underrated as well. But I, but I think everything is underrated. You know, I'm an optimist in life. Now, that is actually a better condition card. That is a decent condition card. Sometimes the EXs are cool as well. When I'm at shows, I'm buying the EXs as well. Like the, the regular EXs, not just the full arts. So far, two full art hits and a EX hit. I take that. I take that so far. We're doing pretty well. You know, it's just the Pokemon, obviously. But, you know, Volcanion is not a very popular Pokemon. We've got Persian. Rapidash, Fungus, Mankey. What did I do to that Fungus card? Was it Fungus? Yeah, I threw it around. Clink, Mantine, Shalos. Ooh, ooh, ooh. High Dragon, I thought it was something. Again, another rare reverse, by the way, guys. And a. Mega Steelix EX. It was Steelix that I was thinking of. Metal energy and fighting energy. I gotta remember, Americans watch this. A lot of Americans watch my Pokemon channel, guys. More than 30% of Americans. I have more American viewers on here than English, if, if you can believe that. So I gotta remember to speak slower, you know? Mega Steelix EX. That's a cool card, man. The Megas are all shiny as well, aren't they? I believe. Canyon Axe. That's a really cool name uh, for a move. There we go. Okay. Mega EX, regular EX, full art EX, full art Mega EX. We're doing well. And I'm glad I got two God of Wars, by the way. Getting two God of Wars is really good. I think that's the hit of this set, you know? So we're actually pretty lucky. We've got three from the back. Give it that tap. You gotta love it. Tangrowth. I'm so bad at opening packs now, man. Holucha. Lampant. Ponyta. Rufflet. Larvesta. Joltik. Tangela. Jumpluff. Again, another rare reverse. What is going on? And an Avalug. Oh, I'm such an idiot, man. I put the uh, reverse High Dragon over there. Again, I think High Dragon's another underrated Pokemon, but I think they're all underrated, as we've been through. Oh, by the way, here's Ace Grading, guys, for those who don't know. Beautiful labels, beautiful slabs. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning, man. Ace Grading. There you go. And yes, I am biased, just for those who want to know, but I believe in Ace a lot. We've done well, man. We've built a great, great foundation. Let's see where it goes from here. Okay, Rapidash. Nuzleaf. Bravery Eerie. Meow. That's right. Hopip. Litwick. Mareep. Oh, Mr. Card. Krogunk, Litleo, and a Clink Clang Hollow. We take that. I do think that like the sparkly galaxy slash cosmos hollow fall is just better as well in Pokemon. But uh it is what it is, man. I'm sure they probably realized that like to differentiate from the full arts and stuff, they gotta dumb down the hollow fall of it. But still, I wish everything was the sparkly galaxy hollow foil. Shieldon, Ambipom, Litleo, Dino. It should be, it's definitely Dino. Dinosaur. I don't know why I always call it Dino. Litwick. Oh, is that another break? That is another break. We've got Clawitzer break this time. Clawitzer. Okay, I always call it... I always get them mixed around. I always call Clawitzer Clauncher. There we go. Clawitzer break and a Yanmega. Not a great break card to get, I'll be honest. I like the Lugia. I got the Lugia in an Ace-10. I love that. Standard label. Need to get it reholded into an Ace label if there is one. I'm sure there can be. Next packet. Again, I can't remember if there's a secret rare in this set. Should I look it up real quick or should we just try and pull it? Flaffy, Fleshender, Pokemon Ranger, Apom, Yanma, Sneeze Washington, my guy, Litleo, Nosepass, Reverse Hollow Mantine, and a Pyro. I like Pyro. Um, wish it was better in the game. It's not a really great Pokemon to use, but I like the look of it. It's very visually pleasing and a cool design. All right, I'll say we've got about 10 more packs left right now. You probably won't see me doing a break of Steam Siege, though. I don't think it's a great set. Oh my gosh. What is that? What could that even be? Oh, we got another full art. Yo, this set is like... I might have to open up some more XY sets because they're so fun to open. The full arts look so good. In my opinion, the best looking full arts in a lot of these eras. Hop it. We have a... Meg oh, yeah, Megiona. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. Megiona. I had one of these in a 10. I was clearing out all my old PSA cards and I had this in a 10. Can't remember what it did, but I think it did decent. What is this? What is that on the side, man? 
more print issues. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that didn't sell too high in a 10, but it should do because it's just so hard to get in 10s. The print is so bad. That is why it's set a sneaky set, by the way. Because for example, say if I didn't pull the God of War, I'm happy right now because I've been quite lucky in this video. If I didn't pull the God of War and we were stuck with like Steelix, Volcanion, and uh, and, and McGurn as the, as the only full art you pull, it's not a good day, you know. But we got Mega God of War and God of War. So it's been a successful box opening, if you will. Still haven't made the price back, even with those three. Maybe all these reverse rares we're getting we could do, but unlikely. But yeah, three full arts are pretty sick for an era like this. I'm going to look up right now if there's a secret in this set. It's probably going to be like some sort of gold, like trainer slash tool card. Oh no, it's the gold. Oh, it's the gold. The gold Volcanion, the gold God of War. Oh man, I would love to have pulled the gold God of War. Man, the gold God of War is sick. The 10 of the secret rare is like 300 plus pounds so dollars more so that would pay for the box if you got a 10 of the secret rare oh my goodness me i can't believe i forgot i had the gold i had the volcanian as well uh the gold one too in a 10 i'm not sure not the god of war though all right shellos sorry rufflet chimchar zvilus and a toxic croak i keep coughing today i think it's because i did golf earlier but yeah honestly like a, a would I trade three full arts for the for the secret rare? Yeah, probably. The secret rares are cool in, in like this era as well. The gold uh, border, the Alakazam. Oh, Fates Collide. Oh man, maybe we've got to do a mass Fates Collide opening to try and pull that Alakazam. Ambipom, Flaffy, Fletchinder, Apom, Yanma. She needs Washington, my guy. Litleo, Nosepass, Nina Ran Reverse, and a Wyvel to Hollow. We got the reverse earlier. Now we've got the Hollow. Or should I say Hello, Hollow? No, I should not say that. All right, six, seven more packs. Can we pull a god box? Can we pull the secret rare still? I'm praying right now. I'm on my knees for that gold god of war. I completely forgot that was the chase. Sorry, I kind of like spoiled the whole video by not acting like that card exists. I apologize, guys. Sneasel, Litleo, Nidoran, Nosepass, Captivating Pokepuff, and a Jump Bluff, non-hollow. If you're enjoying the video, guys, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We are well and truly back. I'm calling it now. We are well and truly back in a Pokemon world. It's not just uh, YouTube videos either. I'm active on Pokeran now. I'm active on whatnot, Ace Grading. Obviously, I've been active on that the entire time. But, you know, I'm actively, like, really, really pushing it now because I think we're in a great spot. Um, but, yeah, good future. I'm looking and excited to see what's next with all this stuff. And uh, the uploads will. Well, if I can sort my camera out, the uploads will continue to pour in. I just need to film more, you know, which I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm going to Hawaii. So the next two videos or the next few videos you'll see from me are probably going to be here from Hawaii. Camera. I promise I'll fix this, guys. I promise I'll fix this. I have a look. Rare Reverse and a Primate. Come on. Secret Rare. Please, please, please. Right. We got Static Spirit Link. Clang. We got Special Charge. Apom. Drifloon. Mareep. Fletchling. Yanma. I'm getting better at this, though. Joltik. And Infernape. Holo. Let's go. That's a cool card. Again, another underrated Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I saw the Ace 10 of the Infernape Illustrator rare the other day. Uh, the IR slash AR. Oh, it's so cool. I sent a few Japanese ones off, but oh, in English, it just slapped even more. That is a clean Infernape. I might grade that, you know. I think it's just really niche, really cool. Infernape underrated, man. Underrated. That's clean as well. Really clean. I think we could have hit a 10 on that one. Four packs to go, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Do subscribe. Do leave a like. Comment down below as well. Everything helps. But yeah, see how I was saying like I got bad at actually opening packs? Isn't like I got bad at showing the next card. I'm getting better at it here though. Look, practice makes perfect. You gotta remember, I used to do this all the time. So having a bit of a break uh, probably helps. Oh, I'm flying through this now. Someone called the police. There's an emergency. There's not an emergency. That's sick though. Oh man, I'm, the Pokemon is seeping through my veins again. I know that's a weird thing to say, but I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling the Pokemon energy, man. No one can stop me. I'm all the way. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let's, let's chill, Randy. Chimchar, Bergmite, Launcher, C Dot, Nosepass, Drifloom, and Hydreigon Hollow. Again, an underrated Pokemon. People sleep on this one. I think this one on initial inst. Ah, oh, it's not bad, but I don't think it's an easy shot at time. Hydreigon. Very cool, very cool. Oh, there's a new dragon set coming out, isn't there? A Japanese one. Oh, I'm excited. For oh, I'm so excited. I love. Why did I slow down, Pokemon, man? Why? I look, this is my biggest regret. Why did I slow down? I love Pokemon. The franchise is just so good. Is that a shiny thing in here, this pack? Did I see some shine there, guys? We got Flaffy, Monferno, Drifloon, C Dot, Fletchling, Cluncher, Apom, Pyro Reverse, Rare Reverse again, and a Drudigan Non Hollow. All right, last pack. Last pack. And we're trying to pull this right here. We're trying to pull this. I just realized the Megas aren't shiny, are they? They just. They look like that in mega form. 
I don't know. Oh, the last pack froze, and now it's gonna look like I'm trying to fake the pack. I'm not trying to fake the pack, guys. Pokemon Ranger, Anorith, Ninja Boy, Oshawott, Fletchling, Larvesta, Meowth, that's right, Mantine, Infernape Rare Reverse, that's even cooler. Rare Reverse of the Fire Flames, and then the final card is not a secret rare God of War. But you know what? We did well. Oh man, I was going to check the condition as card, but I dropped it. Still looks clean. Oh, that is not because I dropped it, by the way. That it came like that. See that up there on the Infernate? So yeah, we won't send that one off. But really beautiful card indeed. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, let's review the pulls real quick. All right, so we've got a bunch of rare reverses, which I think are really, really cool. We're going to sleeve these up ASAP and get these uh, all tidied up. The break there of Kloitzer, not the best one there, in my opinion. Clink Clang. High Dragon, Jump Luff, really cool though. Look at that big stack of like rare reverses pretty much. Then we got a couple of break cards. Uh, not the best, but I, I, I like them, but I think the, the cooler the Pokemon, the better they are. You know, it's like sort of makes them worth it, but I don't like sideways cards in general. Infernape, reverse, rare reverse. We've got some cool hollows, some really cool hollows in here. Uh, and then obviously we've got the full arts with the God of War, EX, Mega, sorry. And the God of War, EX regular, the Magiona, Mega Steelix, some cool EXs, and the hollow just slept in. Swept, slept, swept, kept, crept in there. But definitely the God of War is the star of the show right here. I mean, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Steam Siege, do I think it deserves the hate? No, I don't think it deserves the hate, but it is probably one of the worst XY boxes, especially when you've got so many out there. Uh, Unified Minds off the top of my head. Unified Minds, is that Sun and Moon? Unified Minds is Sun and Moon. Ancient Origins, I, I can't even remember a lot of the air. You know what, let's do a, let's do, the XY era. I like this. I'll try and get some more. I'll try and get some more. Love you all, though. Take care, guys, for now. I might auction some of these and whatnot, so make sure you come check me out on there. H-grade in, code Randy. Poke around new singles every single day. Catch you guys next time. Peace.